Okay. Getting into MoMA. Uh, you know, what was that? Oh, oh it's you know, exciting. How? It was exciting. I, I, I was going there. I went there three or four times because I was trying to sell the uh, design department. Uh, Paolo, a terrific woman by the name of Paolo Antonelli. She's the head of the architecture and design. And, I, and there was a Lou Dorsman, who was a, a great pioneering graphic designer, I told you about, who was at CBS Radio. When he, when Blacklock was going up, you know, the Saarinen building, he designed an incredible wall for the cafeteria of, of uh, food words and uh, three-dimensional type, just sensational, really 80 foot long. Not too many years later when, uh, I hate him so much I forget his name, the guy who bought the uh, CBS and almost destroyed it. Oh, yeah. He, he's walking around and he, he bought CBS, he's walking around, he sees this incredible wall, he said, I don't like it, take it out. So anyway, wow. the thing was taken out and it was in storage and we were restoring it, et cetera. And I, and I said, I want to get, I want the Museum of Modern Art to have that wall. So I was up there trying to convince them to take it because, and they loved it, but they, 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 but the place was already built and the 80 feet was too big, et cetera. So I'm up there trying to convince them. And then finally they said, I just, we just can't, just can't take it, you know? Oh. So we got into the Culinary Institute, but, but they said, I'll tell you what we really would like, is it was that, that we'd like to have put your Esquire covers into our permanent collections and have a show on it. it sounds good okay, to me. Okay, that sounds great. Well it, well, it was astounding, I thought, because I mean, I, they don't, they don't, the idea they go, that using graphic design of today, and even 60, the 60s was of today, right. was kind of stunning, because, I mean, the only magazine covers that were there before my, the, the Esquire covers were the, uh, from the from uh, the Bauhaus, uh, the right. Stills, uh, you know, pioneering work of shapes and things, you know. So, uh, so it was a, a compliment. Uh, but, to, but she said uh, uh, the only problem. She, uh, she and a curator by the name of uh, Christian Larson. Said, the only problem is we have to sell it to our acquisitions committee. I said, yeah. And she said, and you know, they're a little. It could be a little stuffy, and so this is like a kind of a breakthrough. Putting a good luck. <laughs> yeah, she said, like, "Well, I'll, I'll let goes. you know." I said, okay, terrific. She calls me up a week later, and she said, "Well, we got up, and we started to explain, talk, worked around what the idea was, and then finally, I said what it was." George Lowe's that's why covers a secret. And you know, there were 12 people there or something like that in the acquisition committee. Eight of them jumped up and said, wow, yeah, oh, I love those covers. I got I got 20 of them uh, framed in my house. I got this. I know this. Oh, yeah, that's what they're, they're describing covers. And that was that. And they're describing covers. Because they were all pe people who, when I was when I did them, were probably in, in college. Right, right. And, and, so they and they the, the, covers were, the covers were gigantic hits in college. Right. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't go to a college where you couldn't go to some of the dorm rooms where there weren't Esquire covers up there, all over the place, you know. So it's a good segue into your book. Can we get a plug in for your next book? Yeah, when when well, can we get it and what's in it? Yeah, what well, can we expect uh, inside? When I did, uh, when they told me uh, they wanted to do the show, and I said, well, you like, like, okay, let's do it. Can you do it in the a year so I can do a catalog and they said no 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 we, we this is hot we want to do it right away so I, I so we did it without a catalog of any kind okay uh, the first month of the uh, of the show there was it was April 2008 or something uh, 2008 yeah uh, uh, and it lasted a year and the first month of the show I got uh, my website is uh, georgelowitz.com I got 1,600,000 hits wow and the next months, 800, 700, 600, 500, you know, I'm, right. you know, I'm still getting, wow. I still get 150,000. Uh, That's great. Uh, and, 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 and not half of it, but I, many people said, where can we get a, oh, we need a, a book, book or, or a catalog on, on your covers, you know? Okay. So I had, I had done a, a book to, you know, 15 years ago and saw a print and I said, well, go to Amazon or Barnes & Noble and, and look up uh, a book by uh, Monticelli Press called uh, Covering the 60s. You know, when you go to that thing, they, they're selling copies for three, four hundred dollars a piece. Jeez. So I'm saying, I keep getting requests. So anyway, so I, uh, so Asseline is, is publishing a, a book and, and it, it's really, it's really a fun book because really? I found so it's not just the pictures. What else are we going to oh, find no, in no, there? Stories about how you... Oh, no, no, there's photographs. things written by me, by Howell Hayes, who was the great editor. Everybody said, my, 
what the balls I had to do, it was kind of oh wow, it was fantastic. The guy who had the balls was the editor, because he had to run them. I mean, right. I I did them, and I and I said to, after I did the first cover, that was a gigantic hit, and I. Basically so saved the magazine because they were big financial trouble. Uh, after I said to the editor, who's a great man, Harold Hayes, I, I said, Harold, I really, I'll do your cover, I'll keep doing your covers, but I really don't have any time to come here and have group group arguments and to have discussions. <laughs> I mean, they just they're cut, they're killed, and I know you're not going to kill them. To say somebody they're killing them. I said, I'm gone because I don't have the time. I had an ad agency. Right. People, people uh, say to me about, gee, how many years were you at Esquire? I wasn't at Esquire. Right. I had my ad, ad, ad agency. I did them on Sundays, you know. <laughs> um, and, you know, and, and what's great, I, Hayes would tell me what the issue was going to be about. And I, I, I'd get an idea then or a couple of days later. I'd produce it and I'd send it to him. That was the way we worked, you know, and I and he loved it because he saw I was knew what I was doing, and I was well, so. It's, the book's going to be terrific because it's got photographs of Hayes and photographs of me at some of the shoots and photographs when we were when we were shooting Muhammad Ali with the hours. Right, and, right. And um, that's a great cover. And, and and you know, it's really fun book. 